Hey guys, welcome back, and uh, I'm going to show you some PvP gameplay. You've been asking um, for some more PvP footage, um, and here we go. So we're back in Share Factory to edit a video, and I'm going to talk over um, a clip that I saved a couple days ago. And um, we were, so the server recently crashed, so we were going to see if the Phoenix was available in this cave because my girlfriend still hadn't gotten a phoenix. Now I realize she's level 52, but a lot of that just comes from her basically crafting a bunch of stuff and then going AFK um, because most of the time she plays in very small spurts because she's typically really busy IRL. Um, and that just caveats or uh, segues into the next portion is that we already discussed before we came in here that if we got engaged by other players we would just go ahead and try to run away um, because she hasn't really pvp'd and she doesn't have the spells or the gear um, to do so at this time and so we, we went in knowing there was a, a high probability that we would get engaged just because this is a very popular cave and so i have on all orange blue indigo gear it's uh, level 60 gear and it's pretty good and so I'm not too concerned about getting wrecked right off rip unless like four or five guys hit me at once. Um, and so the guys are about to come in the cave and so I saw them through my peripherals and so I told my girlfriend, hey, I'm gonna hold these guys off, go ahead um, and try to get away because we're both on brooms, we don't have tames here. Um, and so we're gonna replay that. Yeah, and so they engage right away and so I start engaging back. Um, and what I'm using for my main PvP spells is, of course, Blizzard. And then I use the Lightning Beam attack. Um, it's very popular because once you start hitting someone with it, it kind of stays um, locked onto them. And what I'm using with it is um, Lifesteal so that I constantly get healed. Um, but you may either want to use Lifesteal, Bleeding, or a combination of Lifesteal and Bleeding. Um, and bleeding in this game is amazing for PvP, so don't overlook that. Any sort of PvP spell with uh, bleeding. And once we came out of the cave, you might have noticed I, I'm also using fire flame projectiles because they do a nice DOT. Stack that with some bleeding, and if you land a couple shots, it's going to definitely pick away your enemy. Um, so the one guy whistles a dragon in, and I'm running low on mana, so I'm like, let me go ahead and dip out. Um... And hang on a sec. We're going to fast forward the video in a second because after I got away, I was like, man, this guy whistled in a dragon. I was like, uh, I have two phoenixes. I have a burner, what I call a burner phoenix. It's like, eh, if it dies, then it dies, whatever. Um, so I'm like, I'm going to go back and try to fight these guys with my phoenix. And so I go ahead and I whistle my phoenix from base. And if you don't know, um, if you put a creature on follow in this game as long as you're on the world the actual world not in a base or in the air it'll teleport to you um so i'm gonna try to go back um and engage these guys on the phoenix um now i do play a little bit recklessly on this game when it comes to pvp just because they do they there's as far as uh giving you or having like a forgiving pvp system if you die you only lose what's in your inventory you don't lose what's equipped unless your uh, durability is low and your gear breaks when you die then the broken gear will be in the bag that you drop but anyway i'm going to hit this cave um, and look for these guys and like i said we didn't even know if the phoenix was spawned we just knew that the server crashed recently and so i was trying to help uh, my girlfriend easily get a phoenix um, and so i'm just like yeah there's nothing that can kill me in here i'm just gonna fly all the way through uh, the cave to the end and see if these guys are still in here um, and I'm just going to tell you off the bat, they ran away just because if you noticed earlier in the video, I was really messing, messing them up pretty bad. Um, and so I flew in, didn't see anything, but I was like, you know what? Mm, let me go back and check because there's a crevice on top that you can hide in and no one can see you. So I'm going to flamethrower that real quick just to see if I get any damage ticks. And I <laughs> definitely didn't spend enough time. But yeah, I'm going to try to do more of these videos where when I get in an engagement, because you can't really plan them most of the time, um, I'll just go ahead and save the clip and come back and uh, talk over the clip and tell you what's going on. Um, please subscribe, guys. And until next time, thanks for watching.